So, uh, what are we gonna do tonight, OCG? Why, same thing we tried to do every night, Belgium. Take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch. Uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome once again to Obsessive Compulsive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once more by my faithful manservant slash Bucktotem Bertram. And this is my review for Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. Now, dear viewer, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory was released on Jason Voorhees' birthday, 2020, and serves as a spin off slash setup for the inevitable Kingdom Hearts Spore in 2035. For the uninitiated among you, Kingdom Hearts is a crossover between Final Fantasy and Disney. Now that's classic Disney, mind you. Animation, fairy tales, musical numbers, not the mutant that it's become, where we could legitimately have Mickey Mouse having sex with Black Widow while Luke Skywalker watches while drinking from an Iron Man mug and eating garlic bread from Pizza Bloody Planet. <clears throat> I am a Kingdom Hearts fanatic, so as you can imagine, this game was right up my alley. No, Bertram, that doesn't mean I want to put it up my back. Use some common sense, man. Now, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory is not an action RPG nor platformer like the other entries in the series, but rather a music rhythm game that utilizes music from nearly every entry in the franchise. And some Disney songs which you can unlock, which is splendid for a Disney fanatic like myself. Now that's a uh, classic Disney I'm talking about. Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, The Jungle Book, not the stillborn child that it's become, where we could legit legitimately have Donald Duck karate chopping Captain America, while Darth Vader sings, I wanna be like you, while brushing his teeth with an incredible Hulk to brush. Now, the actual setup for Kingdom Hearts 4 is actually only the last 30 minutes or so of the game. So, for the rest of the time, you are going to be playing through Kingdom Hearts 1 to 3 while having events recapped by Kyrie. And if you don't know who Kyrie is, tough! I'm not even going to try to explain the Kingdom Hearts series to a noob like yourself. But if you want to get a basic grasp on what went on, then play this game through. Though, I would recommend just playing the original games themselves, especially now since you can play most of them on the PlayStation 4. Aren't you a lucky chappy? So, in this game, Melody of Memory, you go through stages on rails, so to speak, and hit buttons in time with the music. And that's about it. It's a little bit more complicated than that, but I don't have the time nor the patience to explain that to you. As you can imagine, music rhythm games are not my forte. But since I am a Kingdom Hearts aficionado, I devoured this game. No, Bertram, that does not mean that I ate the game. You some common sense, man. I will say that the game is worth playing through just for the last 30 minutes alone. Even if it is just more of the same nonsense from the ending of Kingdom Hearts 3 and its DLC. If you like music rhythm games, then play this. If you like Kingdom Hearts, 
play this. If you don't like either, then don't play this. Use some common sense, man. So, in conclusion, I am going to give Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory a 7.7.2.5. 7. Point seven out of ten. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. If you've enjoyed this review as much as I have, then give me a thumbs up. If you didn't enjoy it so much, well then, give me a thumbs down. Perhaps leave some abuse for me in my comments section. And remember the most important thing. Stay obsessed with gaming. Yes. <laughs>